Hello friends. Galatians 2.20 is this ongoing beautiful conversation about salvation and sanctification and it says to us, I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Well, friends, here we are together in this beautiful day, so thankful for what God has done for us. God blesses us in so many ways, and God wants us to use our lives and what he's given us to do his will. And when we do the will of God, we will find that it will be a blessing to those around us. Now, I look at the things that God's blessed me with, and it's just amazing. I look out my window and I see trees, trees. And there the trees are growing and they look green and so lovely. I see the grass and I realize, oh, God created that, heaven and earth. I see the planets when I look up in the night and see them in the sky. And in the daytime, I see things that God has blessed me with wonderful things that he's blessed me with. Things that are an honor when I do what God wants me to do, to be a blessing. Now he's blessed me with things that I just think are wonderful. And he's allowed me to be a blessing to people around me, to things around me. Maybe you know what God can bless you with. I'll show you something. That's a dog named Maybe. And when Maybe comes to visit me, it blesses me. And God created Maybe and put Maybe in this world in a special sense of it can be, the dog can be a blessing to me. Yeah, God blesses you with bananas and strawberries and oh, he blesses you with all kinds of things, blueberries you can eat, peanuts. He blesses you. He created every one of them. But he also created you and he created me and he created us to live in the world that he has made and make a difference in the world that he made. What is the difference that you have made in the world that you live in? Sure, there's millions and billions of people in the world, but there's some that you will contact, you will meet them, you will talk to them. And he wants you to be a blessing, a blessing to them. How do you bless someone? Sure, if they don't have something to eat, you give them something to eat. Yeah, if they need something, you may choose to help them or do something for them. You may bless them by showing them something or teaching them something or sharing with them your faith in Jesus Christ, your personal Savior, so that they can come to God and ask Jesus into their heart and ask him to change their lives so they can become a believer in Christ Jesus and all things will pass away and all things will become new for us. We see things differently. We see things as God created them. We see things what God wants us to do with them. We see things with a different perspective when Jesus Christ guides and directs our lives. And it doesn't matter if you're a young person or if you're a senior like me. All of us can be used by God. All of us can make a difference in the world in which we live by touching people's hearts with the love of God. What do you have to thank God for? You can thank him for the strength that you have. You can thank him for the things that you've been blessed with. 
You can thank him with the opportunities of steps of faith you can take that make a difference in your life and in the life of other people. Don't just be a person who receives. Be a person who gives, who cares, who loves, who prays, who reaches out in compassion. You want to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with your soul. You want to love him in your mind. You want to love the Lord your God so that you make a difference in the world that he has created all around you. You want to love the Lord your God so that people, when they see you, will see Christ in you and the difference that God has made in your life will make a difference in the lives of people who see it. If they're open to God, they will see God in you. Now, some people are not open to God. But some people who are there and they don't know anything about God, through you, you can show them the things that God will do in you and through you and change their lives. You might want to pray for them, that God will see them, that God will change their lives, make them new creations in Christ Jesus, that the old life will pass away and all things will become new. They'll see things differently. They'll know things differently. They'll have a different perspective. You see it in the world in which we live. You see people with a perspective that is all driven by something other than God. You see people with a perspective that sees God in this world and wants to see the difference that God can make and will make in the lives of people and in the world all around them. Be a follower of Jesus. Ask him into your heart. Ask him to forgive you of your sins. Ask him to give you the strength to know and do his will and you will make a difference in this life in which you live. And then he will make a difference in your future. Jesus went to heaven to prepare a place for you, a place where you will live and die, dive. <coughs> you will live and you will end that life. When you are in heaven, you will be able to be with God and Jesus and friends who love him and you will be able to worship him, and you will be able to move forward in faith and see the world that we had lived in is gone, and you are a new creation in Christ Jesus, even while you're here on earth. And you'll be a different creation when you finally get to heaven. When you know Christ as your Savior, and he fills your heart and your life, and he becomes who you are in Christ Jesus. He becomes the one who shapes your life. You will be something quite different than what you are, and you will be a person who God wants in heaven. I want to spend eternity in heaven. Everybody goes either to heaven or hell. And the only way you get to go to heaven is by inviting Jesus Christ into your life, asking him to forgive you of your sin and becoming a new creation in Christ Jesus. The old life passes away and all things become new. Now, sometimes people who pray a prayer and ask Jesus into their lives, they don't move forward in faith the way they should. And you want to take that step and say, I want to follow you, Jesus. I want you, Jesus, to change my life. And I want you to make me a new creation. A new creation means you're going to be different. You're going to make a difference. And people are going to see Jesus through you. Oh, in the world in which we live, we so, see so many people around us and you don't see Jesus in them, and you don't see the love of God reaching out in compassion, you see people driven by just themselves and whatever they want, 
That's not where you want to be. You want to be a person who's ready to spend eternity with God in heaven. Pray that prayer. Ask Jesus to come into your life, forgive you of your sins, make you a new creation in Christ Jesus, and may the old life pass away and all things become new. It's interesting when the old life starts to pass away, you see things all around you in the world and you say, I don't like that, I don't want that, I don't want to go down that path. That's because you're a new creation. You're a new creation in Christ Jesus. And the very thoughts of what God wants for you starts to sink into your mind and you want to see God change you. What do you have in your life that God needs to change? The things that need to go, the desires that need to be excluded from your heart and the heart of God come in you. When you have the heart of God, you'll care about people. You'll care about how you help people. You care about what you do to change them. When Jesus came and died on the cross, he did it because he loved you and he wanted you to be able to go to heaven. He doesn't want you to have to spend eternity in hell with Satan. He wants you to spend eternity in heaven with him. And the people who you love and care about, you want to share with them the things that you have learned from God so that they can spend eternity with you in heaven. You don't want to just spend life with them on earth and then never see them again. You want to see their lives transformed by the power of God so that they can go to heaven and be with you and with God and with Jesus. And you want them to be filled with the Holy Spirit who will help, help them in their walk of faith to show them the things they need to change in their lives so that they become different people. They become followers of Jesus. They become people who know God and follow what God has for them to do and don't do what God doesn't want them to do. Say yes to Jesus and thank him for the many blessings he's given you. I look back in my life and I see the things that God has given to me and he has blessed me by them time and time and time again. And I have things, seen the things that God doesn't want in my life and he's put in my heart a desire not to have anything to do with that, but a desire to have something to do with what is the will of God. That's what your life wants to be. If that's your choice, say yes to Jesus and ask him to empower you to be a new creation in Christ Jesus. Lord Jesus, we give our lives to you. Guide and direct each step in Jesus' name. Amen.